Okay, next up, I want to figure out which equation is true. I'm going to be using a difference of squares again. And so we need to recall that a squared minus b squared is a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So I need to figure out my a and b in the case of 9x squared minus 25. And so again, just remember the exponent rule that if I have um, x, y all to the power of a, it's the same thing as x to the power of a um, and y to the power of a. And so in my case of 9x squared, how can I rewrite this as in this form? And so I want to take it this way. And so I have 3 squared multiplied by x squared because 9 is 3 squared and then from this I can get that this is 3x squared. Next up I have 25 and I can just take the square root of 25 to figure out its um, root and its root is going to be 5. And so a is equal to 3x altogether squared and b is equal to 5. And so I will get that 9x squared minus 25 is going to give me 3x plus 5 multiplied by 3x minus 5. So now we just read through. For our first one, if you expand this out, so for a, um, you will get 9x squared minus 15x minus 15x plus 25. And this will give us 9x squared minus 30x plus 25, which is obviously not what we're looking for, so a is out. b you can see we have 3x minus 5 and 3x plus 5. If you wanted to expand that out, you would get 9x squared minus 15x plus 15x plus 20, sorry, minus 25. Minus 25. So these two would cancel, leaving me with 9x squared minus 25, which is exactly what I wanted. Let's just go through the rest to make sure we're not missing out on any of the others that may be correct. We have 3x plus 5 by 3x plus 5. This will give me 9x squared plus 15x plus 15x plus 25. And that would give me um, 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. And let's get check D. D, you can see that we actually have the exact form that we've written out. Um, due to multiplication properties, we know that A times B is the same thing as B times A. It doesn't matter what order I put them in. So I can already tell D is correct. But I can just double check that by using FOIL to expand it out. And I get 9x squared um, minus 15x plus 15x minus 25. These two cancel and I'd get 9x squared minus 25. And so A is wrong and C is wrong, but B, B and D are correct. And so for my answer, I will have B and D. And that's going to be it. Oh, but you need to be careful with um, D here. You see, it's easy to miss this minus sign that they've placed in front of it. And the minus sign is going to change it, in fact. And it'll become 25 minus 9x squared, which is not what we're looking for. And so the only correct answer is going to be B. Just remember that there are two important parts to answering questions correctly, knowing what you need to know and reading the question as you should. Be ensure that you're keen as you read the question because you can miss marks despite you knowing what the answer is and just having read the wrong question, hence you answer the wrong question.